Hello, teacher. How are you? Hello, James. All right. Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon, good evening. <laughs> How is everyone? Good day, good day. Hi, Ayu. How are you? Hi, James. I'm fine. What about you, James? Another day at the office. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> How are things in Indonesia this afternoon? Uh, everything is fine. Everything is great. Uh, the weather is uh, good. Not raining. So so, but not too hot. Everything is good. Perfect. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> all right. Good to see you again. Um, remember, if you have the Colingo um, classes window still open, uh, please close that. Okay, yeah, I know you don't have it, I you. But I, I think I hear an echo from somebody, and that could be the cause. Anyway, um, Gabrielle, how are you? Gone, never mind. <laughs> Mahmoud, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. All right. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Egypt. Egypt. All right. Hello? How are things in Egypt today? Today, the weather is sunny and uh, it's beautiful weather today. Nice, sunny and beautiful. Can't ask for anything more, right? All right. Um, well, if you guys look at Marcus's picture, he's showing us the weather in central Germany. Is that a blue sky, Marcus? Marcus, is that... A clear sky? Um, oh, my microphone was muted. <laughs> yes, ah, there clear you are. <laughs> it's uh, very cold outside, but very, very beautiful weather today. After mm -hmm. class, I will go outside with my dog. Hello? Nice. For a long walk. <laughs> very good. Um, yeah, it's... It's cold here, but it's not quite so clear yet. But maybe later in the day, the clouds will burn off. Yeah. It's... All right. Um, and how are you today, Marcus? I'm fine. Everything's fine. Had a good sleep, and yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Cheers. All right. Um, I know. How are you? Is it Idos? Idos? No, I heard you a minute ago. Okay, uh, Maxim. Yeah. How are you today? <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. Nice. Where are you from? Mm, Moscow, Russia. Okay. Cool. How are things in Moscow today? Uh, here is clouds on the sky. Yep. And very cold, right? Uh, not so... Uh, <laughs> minus, minus, minus 10 degrees. Yeah, it's really cold. <laughs> not so cold for us. Yeah, cold is a relative term. <laughs> um, all right. Um, well, good to see you again. And let me see, Idos. Um, Idos, can you hear me? Hmm? 
I do. I, I see sound. Hello. Hey, how are you? Hello, Idos. Was that you? Hmm. Alright, well, Servette, how are you today? Yeah, excellent. Thank you very much. Awesome. Long time no see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, why so excellent? What's what's the good news? Tell me. Uh, we say like say excellent. It's gonna be excellent. Okay. Yeah, in terms of uh, thinking positively. Yeah, optimism. Yeah, optimism. Nice. Glad to hear it. How are the Turkish classes? Turkish classes. Mm, it's fine. Yeah, fine. I thought uh, third classes. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. All right, it's um, it's really cool what's going on with the the language group on Facebook. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. Um. Hi, Idos. Idos. Is that right? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Idos. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Um, hey, we can hear you. We can hear you saying hello. Can you hear us? I can't hear anybody. No. That um, sounds. Um. Let me find you the. Uh, Sorry, buddy, because I know we all have. Um, there's a troubleshooting link that I use. Um, see if that can help. And Could be the um, anyway, um, oh, Gabrielle, how are you? Who just came in? Gone. Never mind. <laughs> Mahmoud, um, how are you can, today? I, 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 I'm sorry, I'm fine. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> okay, yeah. Adios, please try to um, keep the old window closed. Um, yeah. And um, IU has a question for Servette about the language exchange. Go ahead. Yep. No, not now. Not now. Later. It's okay. okay. I have a private uh, private link to serve it. <laughs> but I, uh, I just gotcha. want to make him notice. Yeah, I just want to make him notice about that. Uh, so we can chat as soon as possible after this class. All right. Uh, right on Facebook or in the chat box. It's okay. Yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. All right. Good. Well, to yet. How are you today? Yep, yeah, hi. Hey, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. And you? Good. Yeah. I'm good. And you said you were in central Vietnam, right? Yeah. On the coast. Right. Nice. How is that? Mm. How is the weather? The weather is nice today. Uh, mm. It's a little cold, but it's sunny. Um, yeah, I like, I like the, this, this weather. Thank you. Nice. Do you go swimming in the ocean a lot? I don't know swimming. Uh, I don't know. You never <laughs> go swimming. I I um I, I I go to the sea and I um you know bathe there, but I uh, mm -hmm. I don't I don't know how to swim. I can't swim. Okay, so you don't go far out, just where it's a little deep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. And um, Pardeep, how are you today? Pardeep, are you there? Are you muted? Look in the, the corner here yeah, to see if... Yeah, yeah. Ah. Uh, I'm, I'm fine. What are you? I'm good. Where are you from? I'm from India. 
All right, what part? It's uh, in the Punjab. It's another part of India. Punjab, that's... Oh, I used to know. Is that in the south? No, it's a north. It's the north? Okay. It's another <laughs> part of India. Yeah. Um, and, and how is the weather where you are today? It's uh, winter, but not a co too cold there. Today, okay. today here is a here is a winter festival. It's a lorry. So when it will come, the weather uh, cold is become less. Okay. Cool. Um, and are you planning a big party for the festival? Yeah, it's uh, in night time. I'm sorry. It, it's uh, the night time. Okay. It's in the evening. <laughs> nice. Well, I hope you have a good festival. Welcome to everyone. I'm glad you're all yeah. here. And welcome to anyone who is in the chat. Although I think everyone has um, come into class, pretty much. Um, all right. So today I wanted to talk about family and specifically children. Um, so but I don't have. you don't have any children. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm unmarried. Hmm. Not married. Okay. Um, not married and no children. Because yeah. these are different things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sometimes. It's um, it's better to wait until you're married to have children, I think. But not everyone does, right? Yeah. Well, we'll start with you, Pardeep. Do you want children? I guess not. Um, does does everyone hear me clearly? Is there anyone else who does not hear me clearly? I hear you. Yeah. Okay. Um. I can hear you, teacher. I can hear you. No problem at all. All right. Um. Interesting. It's. I. I don't really understand the how how this works for seven people, but not for the other. But Google is weird. I'm sorry, Idos. Um, I hope oh, he's gone. Okay. Um, well, I you you have children, right? Yes, I have a son, twelve <laughs> years old. Uh, now he's in seven, seven grade. Yeah, seven. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. So it's great. It's great to have him. <laughs> nice. And why did you decide to have a child? Uh, it's about premarital. Uh, what to say? Premarital mm, commitment. I made a commitment with my hubby that we only need one son. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> okay. So at the beginning of the marriage, you decided one child. Yeah, only. Only. One son, <laughs> one daughter, just one chance. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We are not making a gambling, right? <laughs> we just accepting, yeah. And right. thanks God, he's, he's a male. Yeah. Why? Okay. <laughs> I think he will not go anywhere. His boy in Indonesian culture, <clears throat> we have a mm -hmm. culture and tradition that a uh, male not leaving home means okay. he's he will stay uh, to taking care about his family. It's uh, quite different with a female. Female is taking off by <laughs> by their uh, husband. <laughs> Mm, right, <laughs> That's right. That's why I didn't, I didn't visit my mom uh, often. It's just like uh, the culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just because of the culture. It's good, interesting. <laughs> All right, Jagdish. Jagdish. Can Hello. You... Hello. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from India. 
And do you have any children? Yeah, I have two daughters. All right, nice. Um, why did you want to have children? Why did you? Yeah, why why did you decide to have children? <laughs> um, just for my family, I want okay. to enhance my family. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what is the best thing about being a father? Mm. I feel uh, good being a father. I have some responsibilities of my daughters. I have responsibility of my family. Mm -hmm. I want to feel that how my parents um, taking care about me when I was younger or when I was age. And that thing I want to give my children and I want to feel that thing of my parents. Nice. Um, cool. What about um, Maxim? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you have any children? Uh, I almost have. Uh, my wife is pregnant right now. Congratulations. Yeah, and uh, I have uh, one daughter, which is not my daughter. It, it is daughter of my wife. Okay, your stepdaughter. Yeah, uh, she called me as father. I called her as daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, she is nine years old, almost wow. nine. Mm -hmm. Nice. And um, and one more on the way, right? Yeah. Do you like being a father? Yes, I like it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah. I like to go home uh, when uh, where uh, my daughter is waiting for me every time. She likes to game with me. To play with you? Yeah, play. Okay. Play with me. You're right. <clears throat> but uh, but I wanted to have uh, my own child uh, because I want to have the child from beginning. Uh, from burning day right so you can see when the we, whole when thing we was, uh, when we was married with my wife uh, mm -hmm. uh, my daughter was uh, seven years old mm -hmm. uh, I didn't know her before six mm -hmm. before six years and uh, I want uh, to have one little child. Mm -hmm. You want a baby? Yeah, a baby. Yeah, not a little girl. I mean, you want a little girl, but you want to be there from the baby to... for the whole thing. But my future, future baby is is boy. Okay. Not girl, yeah. Boy and girl. It will be yeah. boy and girl. That's good, one of each. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Um, Sajib. Hello. Hey, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? I'm good. Where are you from? I'm from Bangladesh. Bangladesh. And do you have any children? Not really. I'm just 21. You can say I'm children to my mom and dad. I still live with them. Mm -hmm. And yeah, still unmarried. So just a student. I don't have any children at all. <laughs> okay. Do you want children? 
Um, yeah, when I'll be married, then uh, yeah, I expect uh, to be dad. Is 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 uh, is great to be a dad. Is is as like uh, fulfillment of a woman and fulfillment of a man. So I wanna fulfill myself. I wanna uh, try my best efforts for that. Because uh, we are being dead, none of us can be a fulfilled man, or we can never lead a fulfilled life. You know what I mean? Because uh, the love and affection we give uh, to our children, that's just actually a, a different part of our life. That's gonna give us more sense. Because we, after 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 being a dad, we we understand that uh, how to treat our children, how to show love and affection to the youngers. Before that, we are hardly, and most of us don't even understand it, the love and affection of parents. So once you become parent, then then you know how it feels and how how the love and affection of your parents actually mean to you. Maybe you couldn't understand it that better. Once you become dead, you understand it much better than ever before. Hmm. Once you become a dad. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Um, what about people who cannot have children, who are physically unable? Mm, Poor them. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it's, it's really a great problem, you know. Um, so they're really sad, and <laughs> and and, and uh, the alternative option for them could be adopting children. But um, but frankly, as I ought to say, uh, adopting children is an alternative way. It can never replace the true love and affection that can come from a person. Because once you become a dad or, or mother, you start feeling that the new child, new embryo, the new child is a part of your body, is a part of your body. And, and that embryo actually holds the blood that, burl, that flowing through your body. So once you start feeling in that way, the, I mean, uh, it will give you more passion, more, it will make you more passionate to express more loves. But once you cannot, it's, 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 it's a great pathetic point of your life. And uh, the alternative option could be taken because we all want to express our love to anybody. And when we can find, uh, find an option, then the alternative could be could be okay, at least. This is what I can say. But I'm not quite okay. sure how much they feel it by their heart. Okay. Good. Servette, what do you think? Well, you don't have any children. Yeah, of course I don't have. Mm -hmm. Do you want them? Or no. one? Never. For now, I don't think I will have children. I will have a kid or... Sure. But mm -hmm. you don't know what will happen after five years, ten years later. Sure. But um, do you do you want one? No. For now, no. I don't want. For, for now. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Because uh, it's hard to have a children, uh, to educate the children, to have a confident, successful, well-behaved children. Life condition is hard, and it's a stressful, basically stressful, and it lots of responsibility. Being uh, alone, freeze. <laughs> it's my choice. Oh no! Sure, sure. That's um a compelling argument, and certainly a different viewpoint, one that we have not heard, right? Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, Tiet. Yep. You don't have any children either, correct? Yes. Yes. I um, haven't been married yet. Mm -hmm. yes. Right. Haven't been married and do not have children. Mm -hmm. um, do you want children? Yes. I really like. I really love children. Uh, I like playing with them and they uh, look so cute. Yeah. Nice. Um, you like playing the, with them? They look cute. Do you think it will be easy or difficult to be a mother? Uh, I think it's not uh, very difficult to become um, a mother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not difficult because uh, 
Um, in Vietnam here, uh, mo a mother who uh, give a birth to, to a child uh, can uh, get help from uh, grandparents and uh, from uh, relatives, for example. So <laughs> I think <laughs> a mother can uh, get a lot of support uh, from uh, yeah from relatives. And so you know, it, it, you know nowadays um, you know. Uh, the society is uh, developing, and so uh, mother and child have uh, uh, more health care uh, from the government. Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, we say it takes a village to raise a child, um, and this is the idea that just two people together can help a child grow. But really, everybody needs to um, to help the whole, the extended family, the grandparents, the aunts, the uncles, and everyone else in the town. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Albertus has an interesting theory that it would be um, the idea of needing an exam to be a father or mother. Right, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. But Idos, can you hear me? Yes. Idos. All right, where are you from? I'm from Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And do you have children? No, uh, I'm not married yet. Mm -hmm. And do you want children? Yes. If it's written in my face, I will. <laughs> How many? In my plan, I, I'm going to have about five, six. Okay. Why so many? Mm, I don't know. Maybe it will be interesting to each other <laughs> to play. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, and do you think it will be easier to have a large family? Sorry? Do you think it will be easier to have a large family? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea about <laughs> no idea. But you Maybe want lots of kids? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. You Interesting. Have, you have one? I don't have any, no. I, um, my, my parents have a couple of dogs and that's as close as <laughs> that's really all um I I feel I am not yet settled enough to have children I feel I'm not settled enough to have a dog <laughs> right because I, I I'm not married right now so I don't want children but the dog, you, you you can be a single father of a dog much more easily yeah. than be a single father of a child. Yeah. So I really want a dog, but I don't know how long I'm going to be in Germany. I'm I'm. Yeah. My girlfriend and I are applying for a job right now in Alaska, that we might get. Uh mm huh. -hmm. And so, we we couldn't bring our German dog to Alaska. He he wouldn't mm -hmm. have papers. Doggy passports are a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> You're funny. Mm, uh, it's it's true. No, I I met a guy who brought a schnauzer from the U.S. to Germany, uh -huh. and it had, um, it had a passport. It had proof of vaccinations. It had a little chip, a GPS device. Anyway, so um, basically, that dog has uh, everything that I don't have. <laughs> Oh yeah, at the time, that dog was more legal to be in Germany than I was, because I had a tourist <laughs> visa, and it had lots, a long list of documents. Yeah. Um, oh, my. VIP dog is right, Asma. Mahmoud, yeah. do you have any children? Uh, no, I'm not like... Yeah. Um, would you like children? Yeah, uh, I like them very much. Yeah. How many children do you want? 
abundantly for uh, five. Four or five. Again, a, a big family. Yeah. yeah. Why so big? Uh, in our city, uh, it's very uh, uh, it's, uh, it's appreciated to have a large family. Uh, kind of uh, a high in society on our side to become appreciated. Yeah, okay. Um, so you're saying, I don't know, I'm, I'm having a little trouble hearing you. Can you say that again? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, socially considerable uh, to have uh, uh, a large number of uh, children. Okay. So for, for society, it's good to have a lot of children. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, it, it, it shows that you're... What does it show? What can you repeat, please? Um, why is it good for society to have many children? Uh, in some areas in Egypt, uh, it's uh, about their culture. Somewhere in Egypt, it's what? I'm sorry? It's about their culture. Can, can you type it? Your, your microphone is a little fuzzy. I'm having trouble hearing you. Okay. It's part of the culture. Part of the culture, gotcha. Okay, so culturally, yeah. it's just, this is what you do. You have lots of kids. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. All right. And we have not heard from, is it, um, Sukaina? Yeah, Sukaina? Hello. Hey, what is your name? My name is Sukena. Sukena. All right. And where are you yeah. from? I'm from Morocco. Morocco. And is that a picture of one of your children? No. <laughs> oh, do you have any children? No, of course. I'm still young and... Mm -hmm. I'm not thinking of those things now, but mm -hmm. it's interesting yeah. to have children and have large family, I think. Yeah, okay, so you, you're not thinking of children now, but someday no. you want a large family. Yeah, of course. Yeah. How, how many? Three. What? Three, okay. I was going to guess 20. <laughs> I think so too, but I think three is a little. Anyway, um, why three? Yeah, three you can manage, and the... they can play with each other. They don't. They won't look for friends outside. They will be friends and. Okay, so yeah. it's so they can be social with each other. Yeah. Do you have brothers and sisters? Yeah, of course. Did you ever fight with your brothers and sisters? I'm the youngest, by the way. In okay. <laughs> and so you always just went, mom, and your parents just came in. Oh, what are you doing to the little? Right? <laughs> this is what happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. But they know I'm the I'm the trouble one. So mm. they always know that I'm the big problem. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I have one sister and she is younger. And mm. so I was always bigger, but she was always louder. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, 
So we all want children except for Servette. And maybe me. I haven't decided yet. I really just want a dog right now. A puppy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, does anyone have any questions for your other classmates about something he or she has said? Does anyone disagree with something one of your classmates have has said? Yeah. Everyone agreed. Everyone thinks it's a good idea for Servette to not have children. It's a good idea for IU to only have one son. Right. We have we have lots of different viewpoints. Let's let's talk about this. Let's let's not in a arguing kind of way, but let's I mean, this is a, a great opportunity for us to talk with people from other cultures about the way they feel about their children. Uh, I wonder, Ayo, you, you said mm -hmm. um, uh, a boy don't won't leave the home. Mm -hmm. What if he marries? Do you live together with? Will you live together with your son and his wife? All together, a big family, or mm. or just yeah. you will uh, homes will be closed, and they will he will take care of you, and he will visit you often, often. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, uh, it's it could be two way of uh, thought. That I, what I mean is uh, he he won't uh, leave us in a two way. Uh, we can leave. I mean. He can live with us, or when he wants to live anywhere, he have to take us with him. And the other part is uh, uh, about the close. Uh, means psychology, psychologically close about uh, between mom and their son. It's a uh, okay. We ha we can live in different part of uh, this world, maybe, but. Uh, uh, what the responsibility? The biggest responsibility of uh, the parents is uh, uh, taking place in uh, in son's hands. I I would say like that because in Indonesian culture, uh, son is um, what to say? It's a it's an important thing of the family. They they uh, they brought they brought a family name. They uh, have a responsibility to take uh, take care about uh, take care of the whole family. Means uh, I'm the um, I'm the uh, the elder in my family, uh, and my husband is the elder one as well. And you know, uh, my son is the biggest. Even if, even when he has the uh, what to say uh, young age. Uh, when we have to compare with uh, their cousin, uh, his cousin, or or something else, or their nephew, or whatever, but he has to take care of us because yeah, it's a culture. It's 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 really hard when we have to talk about the culture. It's the culture, but if he doesn't want to. Uh, Obey the culture. It's okay. I'm. I'm. I'm a. I'm a tough mom. <laughs> it's okay for me. <laughs> so, uh, it's do okay. you live with your uh, husband's family, like uh, his no. mother, his father? But no. He is also a man. He he cannot leave the home. Uh, yeah. Uh, he 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 can live with uh, his mom. Uh, uh, Taking me there or uh, taking my son there, but uh, unfortunately, I don't want to live with them. <laughs> that's why I'm saying. That's why I'm saying. Psychology close means my husband can taking care of uh, his family, uh, the whole family. It's uh, his way to taking care of them. I cannot. Uh, I, I I cannot order him to don't do that. 
I don't like you to do that. No, it's 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 it doesn't look nice. But I just uh, let him to taking care of all uh, all of them. But uh, I don't want to live with them because I, I I'm I'm too I am too independent, right? <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm an independent lady that they cannot ruling me. They can they can they cannot. Uh, uh, okay, we are we are we are uh, behave in a nice way, but I respect them. I taking care of them too. Uh, they can ask me for a favor or something, uh, but I don't want to live with them. It's my problem, not their <laughs> problem. But they uh, always open their hand to uh, accept me to live with them. Uh, I, I will I will give you an example, uh, sir. But they have five daughter in their house. I mean, my 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 hubby is having five sibling and old daughter. And you know what happened when when one day his mom is uh uh, uh have to uh, bed rest in a hospital. His mom asked him that if I have a choice. If I have a choice, I want I you to uh, take care of me in the hospital. I just want her to take care of me because I know he's so care, uh, she's so blah 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 blah. That's what my mother-in-law said to my uh, hubby. Can you imagine that? I am the independent lady. Don't want to live with them. Uh, just visiting. Uh, her. Uh, once in a month, once in two months, but when he's sick, when she's sick, sorry, when she's sick, he she got sick. He asked me, he she asked me to uh, stay with uh, with her in the hospital. Can you imagine that? How close we are. So you did this or that? <coughs> mm -hmm. So you you did stay with her in the hospital. Sorry. You already stayed with her in the hospital, or you would stay with her. He, she want me to stay with her, to taking care of her in the hospital. Yeah, yeah. even you, there's a. Hmm? So after she wanted the, uh, you to do this, you did this. You stayed at hospital and you took care of her, or. Just yes. say, no, I'm yes. independent. No, I, can stay. I yeah, I I had to stay there for three days, and uh, waiting her since he got uh, she got well and uh, go uh, leave uh, the hospital. It's it's a nice. it's a maybe strange, but it happened. It happened. Uh, so we are close, but uh, I know my my my. My brain, my mind is—it's maybe I don't know. I, <laughs> it's this my problem. Actually, it's my problem, not them. Uh, <laughs> not here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm I'm, I'm, I'm too independent to to be ruled by someone except my hubby. Uh, that's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Tuyet also does not want to live with her in-laws. Why not to yet? Yep. <coughs> Sorry. Why do you not want to live with your yeah. in-laws? Yeah, maybe there are some uh, reasons. Mm, the first I think is that uh, if uh, I live with the uh, uh, parents in law, uh, maybe then um, there will be a uh, quarrels. Maybe mm -hmm. a generation gap between. Uh, a young generation and older generation, um, yeah, and um, I think that the, maybe there will be the arguments between uh, uh, the parents and the children, um, and like um, like like I, I also want to live uh, independently. Um, yeah. Okay. Would you? Live only with your husband, or would you live? Would he move in with your family? Um, me. Yeah. 
Yeah, actually, uh, I want to live with my husband and children only. Um, do you understand? Yeah, to start a new household. Yeah. Find a new apartment or a new house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. that's my choice. Yeah. Interesting. Um, is there anyone else who does not want to live with their husband's family or their wife's family? Mm. Of course, nobody uh, likes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, no, no. Uh, some people like. Uh, above fifty percent people like with the combined families. Mm -hmm. Right now, our life is very stressful. Mm -hmm. If we have children, who will take care? Mm -hmm. Husband and wife both are uh, doing a job. Who will take care? Mm -hmm. We uh, that time uh, we uh, we are ten brothers and sisters, but uh, my mother and father both are work. Uh, who will take care us our uh, Mm, our uncle, auntie, because we are living with uh, a group of combined families. Okay. And um, Madan, do you have children now? Uh, right now, I don't have, but my wife is pregnant. We have Congratulations. twins. <laughs> we have you twins. have twins. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Your life is going to be very busy, isn't it? Very busy. <laughs> uh, and uh, I, um, I want uh, living with uh, with more people. Uh, if uh, more people means I want, uh, I like combined family because everyone take care of you. You are right. busy. You are come late. You have uh, you fever. You have accidentally problem. They take care immediately. But if uh, right now I am working abroad uh, and I am uh, living with my family here, my wife is pregnant. Who will take care of my wife? We are both alone. <laughs> We are alone here. Yeah. yeah now, actually, now I feel uh, or I want combined family. Yeah. And um, uh, we are getting, we will get a twin who will care, take care because both are working. I am working and my wife also working. Okay. And if uh, we will back to India, back again, uh, return back to India. Who will give uh, me money for ex our expenses? That is a very big problem. Sure. Children are expensive. Yeah. And must be, uh, we both are uh, work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You both have to work, yeah. Yes. All right. Without um, uh, without working, we cannot uh, uh, sure. manage our expenses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maxim, you had something you wanted to say, right? Yeah. Uh, but uh, Asian uh, right now, fifteen percent Asian peoples want combined families. Oh yeah. It's oh. There is a culture. Yeah. There is a culture uh, in right India. Mm -hmm. There is a culture yeah. in India of joint family. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so many people, and um, even in Pakistan, Bangladesh, India, and uh, sometimes in other country of Asia, they have a uh, culture of joint family, and they are living um, together. Mm -hmm. uh, something I want to tell you, um, to share you uh, with you, uh, all the guys, yeah. that. Um, I have two daughters and the younger one is uh, 20 years old and, uh, uh, sorry, uh, elder one is 20 years old and younger one is 18 years old. 
mm-hmm. and um, my younger daughter is mentally retarded she is mentally retarded sir mm. she don't know anything so we'll take care uh, if uh, i um, uh, not to stay with uh, my parents house or i don't have um, and just like that uh, joint family culture is a very good culture Mm-hmm. So uh, they are taking uh, my uh, brothers, my elder brothers, and my younger brothers, and uh, uh, wife of my uh, brothers. They are taking uh, to my younger son, younger son, younger daughter, because she don't know, she don't know even, she don't know um, uh, about party, uh, uh, and uh, she don't know about. where to uh, how to we are and this and that thing even she can't uh, speak anything she can't um, action anything she can't demand anything in that mm-hmm. condition we will factor if we are not having a culture of gender right yeah um thank you and um maxim yeah max did you want to say something were you trying earlier what about um i'm not sure <laughs> i i thought you were trying to speak earlier or servet you you had something you wanted to say right me yeah i think it's a uh, big family is more cheerful but if they support themselves if you say like this is the biggest son you are have to take care of all of us and we are 20 people it's really big responsibility and so respectful it's not it's not cheerful for this peop- for one people other mm-hmm. people may be very <laughs> happy very relaxed life but i don't agree with this idea okay so you prefer servet a smaller family actually it's about intention it's about the, your view point if you like i said if you support each other living in a big uh, family may be more cheerful uh, if you support themselves psychologically economically or educating you can share your knowledge your experiences it may be better but like i said if you say this son has to do some tests this is your responsibility and it's Lots of responsibility is so stressful. It's not fair, basically. Okay, it's yeah. a good point. If um, you are does... over thirty, mm-hmm. yeah. If you are the over thirty, you will. Uh, it's uh, you will require a combined or joint families. If you over thirty, because you have uh, m- more responsibility. <laughs> over your families yeah i don't say don't give us a responsibility over, but over 30 you have uh, children how many children we don't have but uh, you have children who will take care well, mm-hmm. i i agree i don't i don't i don't run of responsibility yeah. run away from responsibility but you ha- you should give choices to your children yeah You This, cannot. They uh, should be in, a, uh, in Asian in Asian count, countries. Freedom was really, really uh, low. Not good. Families giving responsibilities, uh, pressure, government discussion, human rights never expands. But over thirty. Uh, uh, over 30 guys knows everything because over 30 uh, you have more responsibilities about your children your families if you are uh, living in a rental house you have too much problems with your uh, uh, i cannot explain you yeah the... you have much expense you uh, you are paying a uh, rent house rent you you are paying a uh, school fees you are giving to separately your mother father's expenses but yeah. if you are living with uh, your mother and father 
it's reduce automatically reduce your expenses mm -hmm. because uh, you are husband and wife you can uh, join any office or any uh, you can join or you can uh, do work in office or shops or malls easily yeah. and I think some of these issues just vary by culture for example my parents lived very far away from their parents um, my grandparents lived in Atlanta and in New Jersey and my parents lived in Tennessee but they were prepared for this and I, I think they did a good job raising my sister and I my sister and me but um, welcome Yuri um, and uh, I, I want to hear briefly from Nikita are you there? Hello, my name is Nikita I'm from Russian Federation I'm 70 years old alright so what are you talking about? we're talking children, about family. children Why? do you have any children? Uh, I'm 30 years old. It's it's too early for me. Okay, so so no, I I I, I don't judge. I I just teach English. I'm not here to judge anyone. <laughs> Do you want children one day? No. No. Why not? Uh, I have a daughter of my own. I a cousin. I have a cousin. And a cousin. Mm -hmm. I've never will have a children. <laughs> she's she's beat me. She why I don't give when I don't give my computer to her to play games. So I've never <laughs> no children in my life. All right. So no children because they will bite you. Yes. <laughs> That's. Um, they are crying. They they need uh, sleeping with you. No, no, never. Mm -hmm. Only my wife and no children. Okay, so you do want a wife, but no children. Do you think your wife will bite you? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, yes. I have a bad character. <laughs> okay, and when you get married, will you live alone with your wife, or with her family, or with your family? I don't know. It's too early for me. I don't want her, her wife. I want to be alone right now. Okay. I, I want to be uh, without control. <laughs> okay, um, so you've been living with with do you still live I guess with your family mm. yes yes okay interesting Could well, I don't want uh, cooking <laughs> my parents cook I don't like to cook okay I, I can tell you this if you want a wife I recommend learning how to cook Women love a man who can cook. Um, okay, anyway, any <laughs> we've talked about a lot of different things in this class. Um, is there anyone, especially someone who has not talked a lot? Um, Sajib, do you have um, any final thoughts? Mm, not really, it's okay. But I understand the, the globalization and joining to the more modernization to keep pace with the mainstream. A lot of people don't want children anymore. So if if it's, I mean, if we keep doing this thing, then uh, it's going to be a great problem as well. Um, but actually, later on, I didn't uh, didn't uh, hear all the conversation very deeply. But I do understand that at least one children could be better. I mean, if you're planning not planning not to have a children, 
I guess uh, that's not appreciable anyway. But you better take children, at least one, because otherwise you can never be fulfilled. Okay. So everyone should have at least one child. Yep. Okay. Interesting. Um, any other thoughts?